The Fisher House is a comfort home or a home away from home for loved ones of our hospitalized veterans. Um, it's a 14,500 square foot, 16 bedroom home. Um, guests can stay here as long as they're providing support for the veteran at absolutely no cost. Our whole goal when they arrive at the house is that they never have to leave. We want them to be able to focus on taking care of their veteran. So we have a laundry room, we have a completely furnished gourmet kitchen. We have 16 private bedrooms. Um, we have very easy access with parking. Um, and the beauty of it is, is that when guests stay here, they can just walk across the street to see their loved one and save them money, um, as well as just the stress of having to worry about staying in a hotel. When my husband was admitted to the ICU unit over here at the hospital, um, I, they told me that a, a social services coordinator would come in and talk to me about services and, at the Fisher House, so that's how I found out. I was so thankful for the fact that they ha offered this service here. Prior to that, I was driving back and forth, and uh, 50 miles about that, and uh, so it's it's a uh, it's a toll that way because uh, the traffic and stress and everything, and uh, being that we have this facility here made it just so much more uh, pleasant um, because, you know, when you're concerned about your loved one uh, being in the hospital, your thoughts don't want to be on driving back and forth. Um, so that helped me tremendously. And when I did come over and um, see the beautiful home and the amenities here and welcomed in, uh, with our for our family to stay here. Uh, it was wonderful. I mean, it was such a blessing. The beauty of staying at a Fisher House is there's no limitation on how long a family member, friend, caregiver can stay here. As long as they continue to provide support for the veteran, there's absolutely no limit. Our longest guest so far has been 28 days, and we estimate that we saved that family around $5,000 just in lodging costs. It's really whomever the veteran determines that they want to provide support to them. So it could be we've had um, brothers, sisters, aunts, uncles, cousins, neighbor. It really doesn't matter to us. It's whomever provides the most support for the veteran. We let them decide that. I would, I would just recommend it highly in every way. Um, if they're able to or far enough away that they need a place to stay, I have told many of my friends about it already. So um, as a veteran, I can tell you that, um, you know, I joined the military right out of high school, so I've been serving my whole life, not just in the military, but going to work for the VA. And to be able to provide this service to loved ones of our uh, hospitalized veterans is more fulfilling than any job I've ever had with the VA. Plus, we have to remember that when a veteran serves, the family also serves. Well, I just, I'm impressed. I, I'm thankful for the, the Fisher family for, uh, dedicating this, donating this, um, and s making it possible for families to live here for the time that their loved one is in the hospital.